Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 view and today we're going to be doing another idea from one of you guys in the comments. So this idea is from the user JMT and their idea was to make every planet and dwarf planet orbit each other so you can already tell by that it's going to get pretty hectic. So yeah for instance Jupiter is orbited by Saturn, Saturn is orbited by Uranus, Uranus by Neptune so we have to see if we can actually make this work. I don't think it's possible but we're just going to do it and have some fun so yeah let's get straight into to it so we want to go for a new simulation for this 100 percent and then let's just get this menu open um wait for it to open because for some reason it's very slow whenever you open it the first time but yeah before, while we're um, while that's um, loading up guys just a massive thank you as always for um watching this video and all the videos and subscribing and leaving likes because we're hitting our like goals the subscriber count is doing very well so just a huge thank you to you because it is absolutely amazing at how well um things are going with the channel so yeah, just a huge thanks and yeah who knows how um high it will get this year but anyways now we are into this. So, yeah, we're going to be using the, the Mega Jupiter. Why not? So, here we go. We're just going to place it in. There we go. So, we're going to spawn that in there. Right. Now, we need to somehow make Saturn orbit this. So, I think we're going to have to go over binary. We probably have to pull it quite far out. So, also, we need to get all the other planets around Saturn. So, let's just go over quite a large size here. So, they, they have to orbit each other. So, let's see um, how this works. So we're going to use the orbit mode. So, Saturn should just be able to orbit around Jupiter like that. Okay, cool. So, click play, and that should all work. Right. So, now we are at Saturn. And now we need to do the same principle, but with Uranus. But there is going to be a problem, actually, um, already coming up with the Uranus and Neptune. Is Neptune has more mass than Uranus. So I think we'll have to do Neptune first. It's the only way we'd have a chance of this. So, right, let's go with the good old Neptune here. We'll go with the modded one. Right, so let's go ahead and... Um, actually, let's use the Mega Neptune. We haven't used that um, for any videos. So we're going to place this around Saturn. We need to make sure it doesn't get anywhere near Jupiter's um, area. So we're going to go ahead and place it in this area here. So there we go. So we've got Neptune placed down. Hopefully that should orbit Saturn now. So let's uh, get this going. Right, so that's that's looking comfortable there. Nothing's going on. But Saturn and Jupiter, that orbit seems a little risky at the moment. But it seems to be working. You can see the orbit's wobbling around a bit. But for now, that should work. So there we go. So we've got Neptune around Saturn. But now the next bit is how are we going to get Uranus orbiting around Neptune? So we have to see how that works. And this actually... Never mind, this Neptune is incorrect with its mass, actually. Look at that. It's only got six Earths. So we actually have to scrap that. We'll just go over the... Um, I'll go this one, then. This one's got the correct stats. So I'm actually going to pull it a lot further out than Saturn. Um, so where are we here? This is. This takes a lot of thinking to get this um, to sort of work. And I'm actually going to give Jupiter a... I'm going to make it further away. We're going to reset Saturn and Jupiter's orbits. So where are we here? Like so, and then like that. So when we click play, they should hopefully reset, and then Neptune needs to orbit Saturn. So where are we here? The 17.1 Earths. There we go. So like that. So now Neptune actually just goes in a binary with Saturn. So how does that work around Jupiter, I wonder? That should be interesting to see, because I have no idea how that's um, going to work. If they're in a binary, are they going to orbit around Jupiter or not? Hmm, that's, uh, that's quite... I'm not sure about that. So let me just go ahead this. I really want to see um, how this works. So... Wanna, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Jupiter a lot further away than Saturn. We do not want any problems with Jupiter and Saturn. So there we go. We need enough distance now. Okay, so that's that's all orbiting fine. Right now we're gonna go have Neptune again. Right. So let's, I can actually see if I can try and do this, and um, that'd be um, really cool. So right, okay, we've got plenty of room to um, breathe with here. So we're gonna put Neptune there. Okay. Okay, there we go. So that's now orbiting Saturn around Jupiter. So that's looking good. So we click play. Okay. Oh, never mind. Ah, uh, that's annoying. And if you delete that, Saturn orbits. So Neptune is an automatic binary with Saturn there. We'll put it on the normal orbit mode, but we're going to place it in again. Yeah, that, that's an automatic binary with Saturn. But the thing is, what if we now try and put Uranus in here? So let's um, do this. We're going to put Uranus, okay? So where are we? Um, I'll have to go with the... Uh correct one actually because that other one isn't correct okay so i'm gonna this isn't this is gonna be very hard to do because uranus is similar to neptune in mass so if we put uranus in an orbit with neptune yeah we can already see there's going to be some problems here but as if yeah not sure that's going to work because the, the mass is too similar on these two planets and the fact that neptune is already trying to mess around with saturn i'm not not sure how that's gonna work so if we speed up time now how would that work so, or you can see it's sort of working, but yeah, there you go. Saturn comes in and completely ruins it. So, therefore, it sort of makes the, um, it makes it impossible to work. You can see Saturn just gets pulled inwards by the Uranus-Neptune binary. Jupiter's too far out anyway. So, it's sort of already 
that's game over pretty much there already. But yeah, we'll, we will we'll, um, we'll do some fun stuff as well. So since that is that is not possible to do, um, I wasn't expecting any different uh, to be honest. Although I did want to try and see how far we get. But now we, we're gonna we're gonna go a little more fun. So we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put Saturn here this time. And we, we're going to put them really close together and see some carnage unfold. So I'm pretty sure that's what this idea was mainly designed for anyway. So then we're going to put Neptune... Wow, this is this is going to be very, um, very insane. So we're going to put Neptune there. I guess that's an orbit of Saturn. Then we're going to get Uranus and orbit it around Neptune. Since it's got less mass. So there we go. So we're going to put... Oh, this is not a good idea. This is going to cause chaos. So we put Uranus there. So they're, they're all orbiting each other. But as soon as you click play, it's just not going to happen. So there's Uranus. Right, so now we want to go to Earth, obviously. That's the next planet in the line. So there we go, Earth. So we've got Earth we can put, obviously, a lot closer than um, the other ones. I am going to extend Venus. Or not Venus, sorry. We're going to extend Uranus a little bit more. Well, I mean, they all need extending, honestly. We need a lot of room to make this all work. So there we go. So they're all, they're all in theory, they're orbiting each other right now. I'm not sure how long it'll last. Um, but yeah, there you go. So they're all orbiting each other, um, as the orbits show there. But as soon as you click play this game over but there we go so now we've got plenty of room of earth so we're gonna put earth there like that then we'll use the regular venus so we're gonna place that in there you see earth and venus as well they they will not binary pro or orbit each other because they're too similar in size they are very similar so right, there we go then we're gonna go ahead mars we're gonna go ahead and put mars around venus like that then mercury around mars and then i think they did say they wanted me to do the some of the dwarfs as well so we need to do pluto so there we go, so just spawn Pluto in. So here we go there. So like that. Then if we get Iris, that's the next one they requested. So there we go, Iris there. So look at that, it's the Iris and Pluto. They, they, with Mercury's presence as well, it just it just does not work. Um, then we have Iris, Hermea, and then Make Make. Okay. H A there we go. So there's Hermea. Then we want to spawn in Make Make or Make Make, however you want to call it. I'm gonna place that in there. And then I think the last one they wanted was Ceres. So then we're going to go ahead and put Ceres there. So there we go. So in, right now the orbits are showing they're all going to orbit each other. But we're going to slow down time. Because as soon as we click play, it's going to be... I mean, that does look quite cool. The more in the line there. But yeah, this is going to be... The, the amount of chaos we're about to see here is going to be unreal. So we're going to click play. This is probably where all the action will unfold first. So we're going to put trails on this time. Get trails on. Right, so then we're going to yeah, slow down time. Click play. And here we go. So, yeah, this is, uh, you can already see they're pulling each other towards each other. There's just too much going on. You see Jupiter and Saturn over there. So, yeah, there we go. They're all in there. But you can see, yeah, this, Hermea and Iris seems to be the first two collision there. So, there we go. That's already been destroyed. I'm pretty sure Jupiter and Saturn are probably going to have some sort of, um, collision at some point. But so far, I mean, there seems to be some orbits going on, but it doesn't uh, doesn't seem like this is going to stay. You can see they're all just shooting away from each other. It looks like Venus, Mars, and Earth are getting pulled in here. So yeah, v Earth or Mars got pulled in, I'm assuming, by Earth's gravity, but then Venus sort of cut it off. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure, honestly. It's quite hard to predict what's going on. We see Jupiter and Saturn are sort of getting a little close here for comfort. Um, so here we go. How are the dwarfs doing? The dwarfs may get out scot-free, actually. Oh, no, make, make his had a collision with something. So I think it must have collided with, her, with Hermea. Um, I think, yeah, I think that must have been Hermea there. That had a collision with that. Obviously Pluto there. Uh, Mars is already gone. Jupiter and Saturn dangerously close um, together now. Unless they, maybe they just sit in a binary. I mean, maybe that will um, stay there. But as for these guys, Earth and Venus, I'm not sure we're going to see... Um, yeah, not sure we're going to see these two exist in much longer. There's definitely going to be some sort of confrontation there. Uranus and Neptune seem fairly distant at the moment. The dwarf planets are just clean. They're, they're just completely gone. So here we go. How are we, how are we doing here? So Jupiter and Saturn are doing nicely there. Earth and Venus are definitely going to have some sort of problem at some point, as we can see. And maybe Uranus will get in the mix as well. Oh, it looks like Earth actually got ejected um, out of that little um, bit there as well. So there we go. There is Uranus. Um, well, how are we doing now? It's very hard to keep an eye. So there we go. So, yeah, it looks like Earth, Venus, and Uranus all had a little um, confrontation, and they just shot each other in different directions. We can see Jupiter and Saturn are just chilling nicely, so those two work together um, well. But, yeah, because there is a nice difference in mass between those two. So, obviously, Jupiter has 318 Earths, or one Jupiter, and Saturn only has uh, 95 Earths here. So, there is a massive difference, and... Yeah, it's obviously clearly a good enough dis difference for them to actually orbit um, fairly nicely there. So, yeah, there's all the masses. So, yeah, there we go. There are those guys done. But, yeah, as for the other planets, 
a lot of their masses are too similar. Obviously, Uranus and Neptune, they're too similar. Earth and Venus are too similar. I guess you could say Mercury and Mars are fairly similar. And obviously, the dwarf planets are all quite similar as well. And they're too, they're just too similar for it to um, work in all of the orbits. So I'm pretty sure we could make it work if we cut out some of the planets. I will actually try that. But yeah, as we can see, I'm pretty sure we can just all agree that this is concluded now. The planets all just shot off. Some of them collided, some of them didn't. Um, and yeah, that's you just get this mess in the end. But now I'm going to try this again. And we're going to try... We're going to try it with... We're going to remove Neptune, unfortunately, for this. So we're going to go ahead and spawn Jupiter in again. So we'll see if that's the main one. So we're going to put Jupiter in there. Then we're going to go Saturn. Because Jupiter and Saturn do work. So we're going to put um, Saturn over here. We're going to do a decent distance again. Try and make them all orbit each other. So I want to see if I can get some sort of results out of this. Um, and then we're going to go Uranus. Not going to do Neptune. Because Neptune has just got too much mass. But Uranus may be able to work around Saturn. So let's see here. Will Uranus work around? That is the question. So we're going to place it there. And maybe no orbits. Saturn's still orbiting Jupiter. Uranus is orbiting Saturn. Okay. So we've got some progress. Now we need to make... Yeah, we'll go with Earth. So if we have Earth, we can't have Venus though because they're too similar. So we can put Earth around Uranus nicely. Saturn won't um, have him impact on that. So there's Earth. Now, can we put Mars around an Earth? Let's see here. Will, will Mars work around Earth? I wonder. So we're going to put Mars there. Sure. Wow, okay. So Mar Mars can um, cope around Earth by the looks of it there. Um, the orbits are not the same. So, yeah, no, Mars is only 8 moons. Earth is obviously one whole Earth. That is equivalent to 81 moons. So you can see it's quite a difference there. Now around Mars, we, we get a little struggling on breathing room here. So obviously we need to have it in between Earth and Mars. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have to readjust Uranus. So I'm going to give it a, a buff in its distance. Then Earth we need to give a buff as well. So we're going to put Earth around Uranus. Not Saturn, we need it around Uranus, like that. Then Mars, we have to put around Earth again. So now, there we go, so we're going to put that there. We do not want Mars getting too close to Uranus. So we have to keep it in the Earth area there. So, like that. So hopefully that all works. So if we click play, okay. So, so we've got Uranus, so we've got Mars orbiting Earth, Earth orbiting Uranus, Uranus orbiting Saturn, which is now a binary for some reason. Then we have Jupiter out here, so I'm interested to see how that will work. Maybe it'll, um, hopefully it'll work, actually. Um, so there we go. Now we have Mars. Now, M Mercury, I'm not seeing will work at all. So we're going to go with Pluto now. We're going to try and have that around Mars. It should work. I mean, Pluto's not very big. So we'll put Pluto in there. There we go. So that is Pluto. And then I guess we could end off with Ceres. So where are, how are we doing? Yeah, so Ceres, I guess we could slot just around Pluto like that. And then there you go. So I reckon... And then, then they go, so Ceres actually breaks away. So I'm trying to give Pluto a readjust, series of readjust, and then auto orbit those again, like so. Go on, select Pluto. There we go. There we are. So auto orbit there. So yeah, Ceres, Ceres, getting Ceres around Pluto. So obviously, every time you make a planet orbit another one, you get closer and closer um, in orbit. And you have to make the objects very close to the parent objects. So there we go. So that seems to work. But it looks like, yeah, it looks like the gravity is just, there's too much going on around here. That Ceres cannot stay stable around Pluto. But uh, it looks like the Pluto around Mars, Mars around Earth, Earth around Uranus, and then the Jupiter and Saturn thing out here. It seems like you can get you can get some results out of this. But you haven't all the planets orbit each other. It's completely impossible um, as far as I've tried here. Yeah, so they go Pluto, it's just too close. And it looks like Pluto's orbit's going to get stretched around by the Earth's presence. Um, as well so yeah just the, unless you had the objects super far away from each other i don't think this is possible at all so um yeah there we go i think that does it for today's video guys so as you saw if we um tried putting them all together they just collided they flew um they yeah they bounced off each other as we saw from uranus earth and venus they just flew away or see um jupiter and saturn they actually stay together surprisingly i thought those two would um have a collision but yeah so like i said uranus and neptune are too similar earth and venus too similar and also you got Mars and Mercury are too close, Pluto and Eris. There's too many similarities in objects. If they were all different sizes, then you probably could get it to work like I tried here. Like, you see some of the results here seems to be a little better than what we um, did originally. But yeah, even then, you can still see the orbits just do not stay stable. There's too much presence of larger objects in the area, which sort of are bending their orbits. Obviously, Mars's orbit's getting all pulled around. I'm assuming that's because of the presence of Uranus. Earth just cannot hold on to Mars properly. As we can see, there was a collision um, with Earth and one of the guys. I think that was Pluto that smashed into it there. Um, but yeah, unless you did it really far out, maybe it would work. But yeah, we're talking giant distances here. But yeah, there you go. Mars just got pulled away. It's, yeah, Earth isn't strong enough. So 
yeah, there we go. But yeah, that is my attempt at trying to do this idea. So hopefully you enjoyed um, nonetheless. And yeah, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video, guys. And also if you've got any more ideas um, down below for videos, and let me know. And I hopefully can get around to doing them at some point. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure to subscribe. Helps on the journey to 12,000 subscribers. Also make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.